Hey guys, welcome back to the Chaotic Carnivore channel. It has been a very, very long time since I've actually posted anything, and if you have been following, if you've been watching, if you viewed my other videos, you would know I put up a video probably, uh, I think a couple of months ago, I don't know, I'll check later, but it was uh, me kind of coming back you know, being ready to actually dive back into carnivore and really experience the benefits of the diet that I keep hearing so much about. Now, since that time, um, there were some problems that happened and I wasn't really able to get back into it the way that I wanted to. So I ended up falling off right before uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And to give you guys a quick update on where I've been and what I've been doing, Right before Thanksgiving, I was off the diet completely. I had gotten off of it and I was eating the regular, you know, sad, standard American diet again. And I thought, oh, you know, this will be fine. I had been talking to my roommates about it and they wanted to sort of have more of a balanced diet. Balanced diet. They wanted to, you know, we, we wanted to do the calorie counting and really just the cravings were just a little bit too much to handle. Well... Fast forward to like two days before Thanksgiving. We'd already started, you know, prepping everything to make our food and whatnot. Um, and I was sitting on my bed and all of a sudden out of nowhere, I started to have heart palpitations, like really bad, really intense heart palpitations. I've never had them before in my entire life. And they lasted for probably a good 40 minutes, 40 minutes of feeling like I couldn't breathe, feeling like my chest was borderline caving in. And mind you, at that time, I knew nothing about heart attacks. I knew nothing about the signs to really look for. I was like everybody else thinking they were the, you know, oh, you, you grab your chest and it's a lot of chest pain. And, you know, that's what you do. That's what you look for. Well, it's not that, especially not in women. For anybody who doesn't know, real quick, if you're concerned you might be having a heart attack, things to look for are breaking out in a cold sweat, um, definitely some chest pain. It can be on your left or right side, it doesn't matter, especially uh, pain that'll travel up your neck and into your jaw, and sometimes in your back, too. Uh, shortness of breath, lightheadedness, like heart palpitations, Anything that you get that's like that and it's pretty intense and it's lasting more than like 5-10 minutes, call emergency services or take yourself to the ER. It's better to get checked out than to try to pass it off as something like indigestion or something else and then you end up having a heart attack. I also didn't know that you could have a heart attack and not even know that you had one. They're called silent heart attacks. So that's the PSA for the day. But anyway... I started having these things and I was freaking out, went to the ER, um, they did an EKG, they did, you know, blood work and everything, they didn't find anything and they sent me home, you know, I had calmed down, uh, but I, I legitimately thought I might have been dying that day, and it was terrifying, it was absolutely terrifying, so I ended up coming back home, and within... I want to say it was, it was, yeah, it was like two, three days later. It was the day after Thanksgiving. We celebrated our day, um, the day after so that we could all go and see family and whatnot. And then we had ours together the next day. So I was sitting, uh, in my chair, I was eating my food and in the middle of eating, I had to stop because all those feelings came back again and it ended up being so bad that I had to go back to the ER and this time they did all the same stuff, but the only difference was this time the nurse came in and she told me that my blood sugar had been well over 300. And for anybody who doesn't mess with their blood sugar or anything, I was this person before this all happened. Your blood sugar is not supposed to be in the 300s. It's not even really supposed to be over 100. Um after you've fasted, most importantly, it is supposed to be between 80 and 100. Eight hours after fasting. So like when you wake up in the morning after you've slept, you should be around the, you know, 80 to 100 range. 
I was not. I was at 300, and then what they told me is the records indicated that it was also over 300 two days prior when I had come in. So my blood sugar had been over 300, it was like 350, something like that, um, for probably a good four days, which is why I felt like I was dying. It was, it was terrible. It was scary. I didn't know what the heck was happening. I've never felt so weak in my life, and I was absolutely terrified. So the ER nurse started me on metformin and, um, which for anybody who doesn't know, it is a medication used to treat diabetics, um, to try to help lower your blood sugar and your, your insulin resistance over time. So I ended up getting a family doctor after that. I didn't have one beforehand. And guys, if you are one of these people, I know it can be scary when you're a younger person, you're used to maybe your parents making a lot of appointments and stuff for you. I mean, I haven't had that in a long time, but at the same time, I just don't do anything and that's why I am where I am. There is nothing wrong with having a doctor. There is nothing wrong with having somebody that you can ask questions to. You just want to be very open-minded about what you ask and especially with what they answer with. Now, I got extremely lucky. My doctor that I went to, he is a very open-minded individual, and when he was, you know, he tested me out, he basically put my A1C at 9.4, which is type 2 diabetic. So I am a type 2 diabetic now. But when he was giving me recommendations of how to lower that A1C and reverse the type 2 diabetes, um, he, I, I mentioned carnivore. I was like, oh no, you know, I'm really nervous about this. I'm like, I've heard a lot of doctors basically go off about it and say, you know, uh, it's not a good thing. Don't do it. It's unsafe. But he was very, very understanding. And he was like, you know, I've seen a lot of people have success on carnivore, keto, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can still have your favorite foods. And I'm just like... I'm so over the moon because I'm like, okay, I've been looking for a good reason to get back into this diet. And sometimes that's what you need. Not necessarily a health scare, but something serious. Like, I know my roommates were having a hard time taking the diet seriously before I went through all this stuff. And now they don't really say anything about doing it and they want help. They want to be able to do it because they've seen what I'm going through. They're not far off from me, and they do not want to end up with diabetes as well. We think right now they're in the clear, but they are getting tested for it as well. But for now, that that's basically what's been going on. So I got a blood sugar monitor. I got, um, you know, I, I am having regular check-ins with my doctor. We just got to the point where we're starting to space them out. A little bit more but basically it is not just the carnivore journey now it is the journey to reverse type 2 diabetes insulin resistance and for the past let's see it's uh, January now so I mean November December it's it's been roughly three months um, that all of this has been going on because it was a lot earlier in November that stuff started going a little downhill but almost October, really. But regardless, about three months that I have been working with these pills, working with um, actually getting a little bit more exercise, moving around. I got compression socks. Listen, if you are a person who struggles with your weight and has issues with swelling in your legs, anything like that, whether you have diabetes or not, try out some compression socks. They are they are amazing. They are really, really good. Um, I usually don't actually feel my best unless I am wearing them and they make the day a lot easier to go through. Uh, but besides that, I have been back on carnivore. I'm going to call this my day one, but it's more or less my day one of uploading my videos to it and having that accountability again. But I have been on carnivore for since the beginning of January. I was going to do the BBBE challenge, which is bacon, butter, um, beef, and eggs only. That's all you eat. But I have a lot of chicken and pork and things in my freezer, so I want to just kind of try to get through those a little bit. Um, 
but in even the amount of time, let's see, it is the 13th now, so it's almost two weeks. Tomorrow is my two week mark. I have noticed a lot of the redness. If you guys can tell, I'm not sure, but I've noticed a lot of the redness leaving my face. Um, there is a lot less swelling than I used to have. If you look at any of my earlier videos, there is a lot less swelling. Um, besides that, my snoring is completely gone, and with the combination of the diet and the medication for now, I am very excited to announce a huge change that the diet has actually made and I will talk about that in tomorrow's video because I do plan on going back to at least one update video a day and they'll be a lot shorter than this I just want to get you all caught up on where I've been let you know I am not dead thankfully and then I have not given up on this diet because I have a lot to do like and all the reason in the world to do it all the reason. I do not ever want to go through a scare like that again if I can help it. And I don't care how long I have to dedicate to the diet. I cannot wait for the effects. And more importantly, I can't wait to show you guys that it works. That it works coming from another person's perspective that is a big girl. I'm a big girl. I know. And I want to try to fix this. And not have these issues anymore. Uh, side note, I also got my thyroid checked and that came back actually normal. But if you are having problems like that, something kind of similar to diabetes or, you know, insulin resistance, uh, hypertension, I think it's called, something like that. But if you have that stuff, you can also get your thyroid checked. I've learned a lot. I've been in and out of the ER probably five times now. Um, in the beginning of all of this, closer to November, the beginning of December, because they would just hit me so hard. And I'm like, oh my God, am I freaking myself out? Am I, you know, anxiety from everything was kind of culminating. And I think that it was freaking me out to the point where I would get too worked up and then it'd make everything seem 10 times worse. And then I'd have to go back to the hospital. But nothing was wrong with my heart. My heart was good. Um, I'm still thinking about getting uh, a, oh, what's it called? Basically that test to see if your arteries are any bit blocked or have plaque buildup, which carnivore will also help. You're taking away the sugars, you're taking away the carbs, you're taking away all that stuff that is building up in your arteries and making it very hard for blood to get to your heart. And that's what we want. If you're watching this, if you have an interest in carnivore, that's probably something you want too. Not bad to get tested for it. You just want to keep an eye on your health. Um, I'll get into cholesterol and all the other stuff in other videos in the future, but if you guys have any questions, uh, if I have learned enough about the diet to answer them, please leave them below and I will do my very, very best or direct you to someone who knows because I have watched so many videos on carnivore, on the topics that so many wonderful, wonderful people here on YouTube cover and hopefully someday I will be one of those people and I can help you too. And you can come along with me on this journey. So if any of this helped you, if you're excited to see me succeed, if you want to succeed right along with me, please hit that subscribe, leave a comment, wish me luck. We're going to do this and we're back to stay this time because now, now it's very real. Now it's very, very real and we're going to do this the right way. So I will see you guys tomorrow for another update. Have a wonderful day. Thanks guys.